What else can we do? Uh, no. You want to go in? <laughs> You're gonna run out of stuff. I, I know. I, um, That's the problem. I, I, I don't feel very motivated myself. I just feel lazy. Yeah. I, I really do. But here, let's uh, try something. Here, do this. <laughs> what? Come on. You just turn down the trouble and turn up the bass and you know that you can do whatever you do. People think you're great. <laughs> he was a funny guy. Yeah. I don't know what happened to him. I know. That's, that's, that's not uh, uh, Rob Smith or, you know, I mean, that's no, no, like Tony DeSico. Tony DeSico. We can look him up. He's probably dead. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, I, he was older. How, so how much older was he? Uh, he was just a year older than me. Oh. And he looked like he was 35. He, he looked like an older guy, yeah. He looked like he was, but he was just a big guy. He was a big dude. Yeah, I know. I don't know if he made it past thirty-five. Mm. He only had to get to thirty-six. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. He was a. He was I liked a big him. Guy. I liked him. He was. Cool. He was a good guy. He was really good. Yeah. He's, he sounded like a great bass player. Well, no, but he had the string bass. You mean an upright? Yeah, he had the he had the actual string bass. He said his yeah. electric bass is this is just a toy. Oh, uh, <laughs> is that what's right? Yeah. Did you you took lessons from him, right? Yeah. Yeah, for like four weeks or something. Yeah. But uh, he he told me yeah, but see, you know what he told me about um, music theory. He gave me in information about music theory that I didn't know, and that really helped a lot. Didn't miss uh, what's her name? And yeah, but that was later. Oh, that was later. Were you in like seventh grade or eighth grade? No, no. no. So I was sixteen when I got my bass. You were what? I was sixteen when I got my first bass. Oh. And then I, I I took a few lessons from him, but he's the one who explained the music theory. And then I took music theory in, in school. In school, yeah. And that sealed the deal. Yeah. Yeah. So it made a lot of sense. I should take music theory. I'm probably old enough to understand it by now. So you've never had music theory? No, I did. That's what I thought. Of course I did. That's, that's what I thought. But when you're a drummer, you don't really even worry about notes. You just hit. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bang on things. G flat. It's, I got it. It's an entirely different psychology. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Psychology. I didn't think psychology, psychology comes into that? play. I just hit stuff. I take whatever I want, and baby, I want you. Is that are those I, the I, words? I mean, it could be. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's, 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 that's that is a rude comment. Well, it's not as bad as the Beatles with the uh, you know, uh, it's like a stalking song they have. Uh, I'd rather see you dead. I'd rather see you dead than to be with another, another guy. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's pretty bad. That's true. How old was he when he wrote those lyrics? Seven. That, Oh my God! Yeah, that was that was like yeah, yeah he's got, like a '63 song or something. He's got abandonment issues, uh, John Lennon. <laughs> yeah. Don't was leave him. Whatever was, that, was that his or Paul McCartney's? I, I, I'm pretty sure that was John Lennon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd rather see a dead little girl than to be with another man. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> Let's not examine that song because he's got issues. <laughs>
packed a lot of drums. I, I do really hard. <laughs> He's never here. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> it's because he's always late. He's never here. Late? <laughs> he doesn't even get here. <laughs> and he up. never calls. I forgot his name. He, he never calls to say he's not showing up. Asswipe. Uh. All right, he's out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what happened to Roger's brain. I mean, he's just all Are over the place. Yeah, he's kind of scary. Nah, he's he's all right. If you really listen to what he's talking about, I do it makes a lot of sense. I do appreciate his attitude about political prisoners. I, he, oh, he's, yeah, he's super supportive. Yeah, and uh, uh, actually, and and people just getting killed. Yeah, you know, and 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 war and for no good reason. Well, you, you got a lot of bad people out there who yeah. are controlling things. Right. There's a lot of bad people in control. Yeah. So he's he's in he's in all of that, but he you know he bangs up against authority, and you know better than Neil Young just goes along with it, which is really weird. Yeah, that's it's like what's what happened to this guy? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, he was on the right side of things. He was in the past. He was a big protester, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, sudden now he's just he's, uh, he's shilling for Pfizer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like what the hell. Uh, what the hell, dude? Yeah, that's not true. How much are they paying you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how, so nobody's buying his songs anymore. Yeah, how, how much did you take? How much did it take to free the, to free the flip? <laughs> and I love Neil Young. What? I love Neil Young. I love his song. Oh, I know. I love country. Yeah. Play the snare drum when you're playing. I know it's freaking ridiculous. I know. <laughs> and it's snare bass. Snare bass. <laughs> Seven, eight, three, 